Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today, do I have a box to share with you guys? So, I did a swap with Miss Canadian Crotchita herself. And she got her box finally yesterday. I meant to sit down and film this over the last week, but unfortunately, I have not had time to sit down and film anything. Hence why there wasn't a Tuesday video last week. And. We're just behind on everything. It's okay. Because I have spent quite a bit of time sitting here snuggling my box. I'm going to show you guys what's in here. That way y'all can get excited with me. So first off, we have a kit here to do thrum mittens. Now I have never done thrums. They have always fascinated me and intimidated me. So... Yarn, fleece. So you take like a little ball of the fleece, you like kind of roll it out and you do a stitch with it, but you have all this like extra floof on the inside of the mittens. So it's like having like a quadruple layer mitten and they like felt kind of around your hand. So like they're custom fit mittens that are extra floofy and super snoogly and very, very warm. And it's like, I really want to know more about these. So I'm very excited. This gives me a real reason to actually try this method. And yeah, I am excited. Um, I can't remember who it was. There was a really cool designer about five years ago, maybe, who did a pattern that was inspired by the thrum style mittens. And it was outerwear. It was like a, it was like a, heavy kind of like the the Irish wool sweaters that are like fleece lined and stuff my husband has a couple of those um but they've got like fleece on the inside but it's a heavy wool exterior like they're meant to be worn as like jackets not as sweaters and she had made a, a cardigan in the thrum method that was meant to kind of mimic that and I always kind of wanted to make that too so if this goes well Maybe I'll go back and find that pattern. I've got it in a magazine. It's uh, in one of my, I think, piecework, interweave piecework magazines. Um, where to go next? There's just, there's so many things to bring joy in here. All right, let's go with a T. So this is maple tea. It is extra super yummy. I have broken into this. That was not going to last any, any length of time. Uh, yeah, totally down for this. And this also would be amazing, just like iced. But we all know, I, I have a thing with maple. I love maple. I went to Montreal a couple of years ago and I got to talking to one of the, um, not, I don't know what to call them. They're not really like farmers, but purveyor of his personal maple syrup. They had a family maple field. Anyway, we were swapping recipes and things to do and talking about savory and sweet applications. One of the things he had were maple crystals and they kind of looked like the really big like sugar crystals you see like on is decorations that don't dissolve into like frosting and stuff. And I was saying actually how good those would be if you brushed like a ginger cookie, a chewy ginger cookie with um, a little maple syrup and stuck those on top before you bake the cookie. And you would have like these fluffy crystal maple crystals like on top with this like molasses ginger cookie. And he's like, okay, I will give you a jar of these for free if you send me that recipe. <laughs> I did. I, I, I took him up on that offer. And let me tell you. <sighs> Those were amazing. That was, uh, yeah. Um, let's go notebook next. So I got a project notebook. Killing it. I love this. And what I'm actually going to eat, so I know you're thinking like, oh, well, you've got the project you make. Yes, 
that's my tracker notebook. What I think I'm going to do with this is I have been doing a lot more um, writing patterns down that are my own. Uh, not that I would ever write and publish these patterns, but I am doing a lot more of like getting the sizing right for things that I make for myself and for family members. And I think that's what I'm going to use this for because I do want a place where I can have everything just together. And the places I have been writing them down are notebooks that I use for other stuff. Let me tell you, it's not working out very well for me. <laughs> no, not working out very well. Um, let's go here next. Because because there's other goodness. So these, how cute are these? These are soaps. These are little yarn ball soaps. So the cats and I share a bathroom. Um, this bedroom is an ensuite and I have their litter box over there, but we share that bathroom. And one of these is definitely gonna have to go over there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the other one yet because I would like to have one as like a decorative soap that I just get to look at. And I, I know that's so silly, but I do kind of want one that I just get to look at. Um, but my guest room also gets used quite a bit. Might have to go. I have a collection of things that I have by my bathtub in the bedroom. So like maybe I'll... You know, that sounds so ridiculous. Um, let's do one of the yarns. Let's do one of the yarns. So, I have never used Drops yarn before. I'm kind of excited about this. So, this is um, Drops Bell. I've used a lot of their patterns. I've never used any of their yarns. This is Color 11. This is Cotton, Viscose, and Linen. And there's 200 grams of this in here. Oops. They got a thread. Actually, let's see that. How pretty is that color? And I love, you can kind of see it up above this finger, but the plies are not uniform. They're different. So it's like the individual plies are different yarns. Or different fiber content like how pretty is that and that's such a subtle thing in person like there's a slight tonal difference like it shows up more on camera than it is in person i'm thinking lacy cowl like or maybe like infinity scarf kind of thing and i'm pretty sure like i've got a good pattern for that I'm sure but I'm kind of excited because I've never used any of the drops yarn I don't see it a lot here at any of the LYS's and like I know it's a European line but a lot of the LYS's that I've been to carry a lot of domestic product like things you just don't see anywhere else so I'm kind of excited and then this one is a Z twist yarn this is Wims Merino think this is furls yeah this is furls branded yarn um this is 50 percent fine superwash merino and 50 percent nylon and i've told you guys i love nylon how beautiful is that color i love it so if you're not familiar with z twist yarn z twist yarn is actually made specifically for crocheters it's meant to not split as you crochet it it's um the way the the yarn is twisted it's like it's different but i've got two hanks of that and i do have a taupe color i think it's a hundred percent superwash merino but it would go really well with this it's a very pinky taupe yeah so i've i've literally had this sitting on my kitchen table since well, I was trying to be good and not open it. And I feel like I could like open it and share it with you guys too. But that didn't work. <clears throat> I'm 
that didn't, well partially because Debbie and I wanted to try like there was um, something she included in here that she had never tried before and she wanted to try it with me so I, that meant I had to open the box so when I got back from uh, Columbia on Friday I opened the box so since Friday this has been sitting open on my kitchen table and I keep like walking by pulling something out and snuggling it this box has totally been like just like a big hug <laughs> I need it she did such a good job and like everything is so just quintessentially me which is hilarious once again I've said it before one of the fun things about doing swaps with people regardless of how well you think they'll know you or you know them you tend to pick up on things that maybe they don't even realize about themselves um now Granted, like, the color palette is very quintessentially fairy. Pink, purple, aqua, turquoise, teal. Yeah. So these are stunning. And I have used yarn from this brand before, this one. So this one is a drops. This is another drops yarn. This one is West Yorkshire Spinners. And... The other one I used is a 100% wool. It wasn't the um, Blue Face Lasseter. It was something else. It's just like wool wool. And it's the softest wool that isn't like a fancy wool. It wasn't like a, a merino or a nylon blend or anything like that. It's wool that feels like wool. You still have that like almost durable feeling to it, but not like itchy or prickly. Their wool is just special. I, I I don't know anything about their sheep. Um, now, this one is a breed-specific wool, but, like, just their straight wool was such a delight to work with. I did a felted project with the, the light last 20 grams that I had, and it still worked my heart to felt that wool because it was just that yummy. So, anyway, the... Uh, West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. This is 100% wool, 122 yards, and I think this is a 50 grams. Yeah, 50 grams. So there's two of each of these, and how beautifully do those pair together? Keep my face over there. Like, I'm thinking these need to go together. So this one is a Drops Merino Extra Fine Superwash Treated Extra Fine Merino Wool. 100% wool, 50 grams. And the color on this is 44, and this one is color 2. I think I also might have a blue. That would pair with this. Uh, I don't see it. I might have already used it. But I've got like a sky blue, I think, somewhere that would almost go with that too. So like, yeah, I've been touching and petting and like project thinking. Um, we'll see. We'll see in what order things go in. But so this is what Debbie wanted to try together. Oh. I left all of our post-it notes on here and hadn't taken any of them off. So this is fake coffee. Fake coffee. It looks and feels like a cup of coffee, but it brews like an herbaceous chocolatey tea dream come true. Fake coffee's energizing combination of cacao and dandelion root may just inspire you to get it done. Hey, we're Big Heart Tico. We're a woman-owned company that makes tasty, sustainable tea using only whole ingredients, no added flavors or colors, promise. So, this has organic cacao, chicory, dandelion, and cinnamon. When this was hot, so I've had this twice now. I had it with her hot, and we were comparing the flavor. And it's like, it does kind of taste like coffee, but not quite. Both of us were very familiar with chicory. I'm very familiar with also dandelion tea. I 
drink a lot of dandelion tea, um, especially when I've had a lot of salty foods. Um, it, it is a diuretic, um, natural diuretic. I didn't taste the cinnamon when this was hot. And I was thinking actually when I was talking to Debbie, I wonder how this would taste with some vanilla in it. Cause I thought it would kind of bolster that like rich coffee flavor. Cause it was rich tasting, but it was kind of missing that unctuousness or something. And you couldn't really taste the chicory, but I didn't taste cinnamon. It was like the combination of flavors gave you the sensation of coffee flavor. But I brewed a cup, got busy, forgot about it. So then I had a room temperature cup. So I iced it with vanilla and a splash of cream like I would iced coffee. That made the cinnamon pop out. It gave um, a very roasted chicory flavor and it tasted even more like coffee cold. So uh, this was really good totally unique experience. Uh, definitely like if I do decaf coffee at night and most decaf coffees are kind of disappointing. This is better than most of the decaf coffees I've tried. So I don't do decaf cause I can't sleep. If Troy's home, I, I we do we just make a plain pot of coffee. But like if it's just me here, I do a lot of decaf or teas at night because why have the extra caffeine? Plus it's a little bit more work and yeah, tea's easy. But this, like, this is better than any decaf coffee I can think of off the top of my head I've had. Even in the French press. Uh, not quite the same as a cup of coffee in the morning. I would definitely not replace my morning cup of coffee with this. But an evening cup of coffee, afternoon cup of coffee... I, I, yeah, I really enjoyed this. And just for the record, iced, it's even better. And I'm not a huge iced coffee person. I think iced coffee can taste a little bitter. That was actually better for me as an iced coffee alternative. Like. So the other thing before we get to the, the last of the yarn here. Make sure I got this. I love that logo. <laughs> I love the logo here. So we have three packets. We have Rampage Coffee Rub, the world's hottest coffee rub, which love. And um, cayenne pepper and paprika are in here. Habanero, black pepper. Yeah, totally cool with this. She actually texted me and was like, do y'all like barbecue? Do you, do, you, do you? And it's like, yeah, Troy will light the grill. I do the cooking. So this is the original blend. Was it? Wait a minute. That was the world's hottest. This is the original. And this is just a fairly standard uh, rub mix. I was actually thinking how good this would be on pork. Pork or fish. That actually might not, um, if you had a light fish. So it's storming outside. And there's just a really weird sound. And then this one is sweet Canadian maple, which will definitely have to go on some pork. Um, we get maple sugar, demerara sugar, garlic, onions, paprika, black powder. Yeah. Or black pepper, black powder. Yeah. That will definitely have to go on some pork chops. Maybe some ribs. If there's enough left for ribs. Because I'm thinking those like extra fat stuffed grilled. This is why I keep like walking by, pulling something out of the box, and it's like, I love this. Walk by, grab something out of the box. I love this. <laughs> My husband already thinks I'm weird, and this has just made it even weirder. So, 
last thing in the box. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to just talk your ear off. I promise, I promise. My leg's falling asleep. Let's side the box. I'm gonna have to come back down here tonight and clean up anyway. <clears throat> so this is from Ancient Arts Yarn. Nature, nature Inspiration Glorious Colors. Alexandrite Effect, effect Sock Nado Fingering. This is 80% superwash extra or superwash fine merino 20% nylon fingering weight sock yarn. Hand dyed in Canada, made in Italy, ancientartsfiber.com. How beautiful. I love the shading of this like smack the camera that indigo y color all the way down to the purple with the indigo spots in it like if you ever wanted to know what like the difference is between blue indigo and violet this is kind of <laughs> how you visualize that but look at that how pretty is that And you've got that like, little fleck of black there. Oh, you guys. I think I'm going to have to get a pink to pair with this. And do another shawl. I have a two-tone shawl pattern. It's been on my list of things I want to make at some point. But I haven't found the perfect yarn. And I think with just like a touch of pink, like if I could do a tonal that is like um, soft pink to like a magenta. <laughs> oh my goodness. She said she tried to find things that like I wouldn't have tried before. And I can definitely say like I've not tried any of these exact things. I don't have any anything in my stash that's quite like this, um, especially the color. That indigo shade is so beautiful. Last year for Christmas, she sent me a gorgeous uh, hank of Sweet Skein of Mine. It was called like Slave Fuel. And it was like highlighter yellow with hot pink and green in it. And I made a beautiful shawl out of it. And I'm just sitting there like, I, I love a lot of the Canadian dyers color palettes and I love indie dyed yarn um, I've noticed a lot of the Canadians that I follow online ha use a richer palette and I think it might might have something to do with like wishing for warmer days or something I don't know um there are a couple American dyers that do that too but <sighs> I don't know. And the same day I opened this, I got my new uh, Interweave Knits magazine. And I was thinking there's a pattern in there that'll work for some. Yeah. So I've spent a week sitting here cuddling things and trying to decide what are these going to become. Or just cuddling them for the sake of cuddling them. So, Debbie, thank you so much. And, by the way, your pin from last year, I don't know if you caught that in the show and tell the other day. I forgot to point that out. It's still got a home in my, my case because he just, come on. He's just happy. Thank you so much. I love everything in this box. This box is one of those, uh, just 100% me. I love it. I hope you liked your box as much as I like mine. Because I'm just. Hopefully the rest of your box will be here at the end of March. So I can get that sent up to you too. 
unfortunately we are I haven't heard anything back from a couple people but I love you honey I love you guys thank you so much for spending this time with me thank you for sharing in the 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 swappy goodness of all of this even though I've been cuddling it for a week now I feel like utterly unprepared to film and talk about any of this I am just <laughs> I, I, mm, mm, so I'm gonna leave this video. I missed it. Take care, you guys, and I see y'all real soon.